Nick wanted to determine the length of one blade of the windmill pictured below. He stood at a point on the ground 440 feet from the windmill's base using a surveyor's tool. Uh, Nick measured the angle between the ground and the highest point reached by the top of the blade and found it to be 38.8 degrees. He also measured the angle between the ground and the lowest point on, of the top blade and found it was 30 degrees. So the description there, uh, everything there uh, is it's already labeled. Um, determine and state a blade's length x to the nearest foot. Okay, so our goal is to figure out what that is. And uh, they were calling it X. So in order for us to determine what that is, I see here that we have actually two right triangles. So the strategy would be to determine the height that I'm highlighting in green, as well as to determine the height that I am highlighting in blue. And if we subtract those two heights, we will have the measure of X. So let's call the, um, the height that's highlighted in green, let's call that, um, let's call that H1. Let's call the height of the, um, of the blue length there, let's call that H2. And X as a result will equal to H2 minus H1. All right, so that's our goal to figure out what is H1 and H2. Uh, so to figure out what H1 is, look uh, at the triangle, the small triangle that, that we have here, uh, H1 will be opposite of 30 degrees and 440 will be adjacent to 30 degrees. So which trig ratio are we going to be capitalizing on? Is it sine, cosine, or tangent? So the side opposite of 30 is H1 and side 440 is adjacent to, thir uh, to 30 degrees. So we're going to be using a tangent ratio. So tangent of 30 is equal to H1 over 440. So then I can solve for H1. H1 will equal to 440 times tangent of 30. And then similarly, I can perform a, um, a, a very similar calculation to find out what H2 is. So H2 is opposite of 38.8 degrees. And 440 once again is adjacent to 38.8 degrees. I want to be. I'm, I will be using the same trig ratio. So tangent of 38.8 will equal to H2 over 440. And similarly, I'm going to solve for H2 by multiplying both sides by 440. So that's 440 tangent of 38.8. And so I will just be subtracting these two, H2 minus H1. So X will equal to 440 tan 38.8 minus 440 tan 30. And if you notice here, there's a common factor of 440. I'm just going to factor the 440 out. So I'll have tangent of 38.8 minus tangent of 30 inside the parentheses. I'm going to enter this into the calculator right now. So there's uh, less number crunching. Um, you know, I could have actually figured out H1 and H2 separately and then, you know, write those decimal values down. But I'm choosing to enter everything in at once. So here I'm going to go to my calculator. So make sure your calculator setting is in uh, degree, third row down, second option there. Make sure it's highlighted and you press enter on degree. So I'm going to enter in 440, open parentheses, tangent of 38.8, close parentheses, minus tangent of 30 degrees, close parentheses, close parentheses. Let's press enter. So I end up with 99.73. So x ends up being 99.73 and these are all measured in units of feet the uh, question here says to determine and state a blade's length x to the nearest foot so what is this to the nearest foot then it is approximately equal to 
100 feet.